much hate lah. You look at these people, you look at their houses, you think what, people want to kill bomb, pack all their surviving family members, spend all their life savings just to get to Malaysia. Come here, no food, no money, stand under the hot sun, hungry. Day. Nobody does that willingly. Logic a bit lah bro. I know, I know, this refugee issue is a bit complicated. Samo, I cannot ask you to go read the book of school also, huh? you know. It's okay lah, it's okay lah. I'll help you explain about refugees and their situation. So the next time, you don't ask them to go f*** off. Who are they? Okay, a refugee is a person who has been forced to flee their home country due to war, persecution or violence. So you know, think war-torn countries like Syria, Afghanistan, all those people dying, bombs falling everywhere, uh, like that. Why do they leave their home countries? Uh, this one not like Gado with Amma Appa then run away from home for one week. Huh? This one more like one minute, everything happy, peachy, beautiful, sunny. The next minute, bomb fall on your head, everybody dead because there's a war going on. Or your freedom is under threat in your own country. Like you know, you kutuk orang-orang besar all, then suddenly you feel like you're going to die any minute. Huh? Like that. When staying in their own country becomes dangerous, they seek help and refuge from other countries, lah, like ours and all. But they are not illegal immigrants, huh? you all should know that already by now. They are not stealing our jobs. Lah. Okay, I got to say this before, you know, in my previous video. Always read if you're confused. Don't simply make wrong statements all. Guys, please, please read before you post any mean, nasty comments online. I know lah, not easy to get jobs in Malaysia. So when we see foreigners everywhere, the roast freak out. Think they're going to take the very jobs that we ourselves don't want, huh? Ayyo, they're going to steal my job. Ha, terus gabra. Calm down lah. You think very easy is it for non-Malaysians to get jobs in Malaysia? Hey, hey, hey. Got long saw lah. Do you know that refugees aren't allowed to work legally in Malaysia? So obviously they cannot simply steal your jobs. How are their lives in Malaysia? You know, about a year ago, I had the privilege of meeting this refugee family from Afghanistan. We. My heart break la when I heard their story. They spent 24,000 American dollars just to get to Malaysia. That's like all their savings, you know. So when they came here, right, no money, no food, no house, nothing. Like imagine ah, you're standing in the middle of KL with your elderly parents, children, got baby some more tau. It's like, right, one minute you're home, everything is okay, you're happy. The next minute, right, you're homeless. You have nothing. After that, the family, they managed to find a place to live in. But it's actually in the balcony of an apartment, you know. So they live there under the hot sun, rain, everything for six months. No choice lah. The reality of the lives of refugees in Malaysia, very harsh, you know. Most often, they come here, they're either homeless or they end up living in like tiny crowded apartments with like a lot of other families. The thing is, uh, some of these refugees are actually educated professionals, you know. Engineer, la, nurse, la, teacher. La. But when they come here, they cannot do all these jobs. Because we don't really have a lot of laws that govern and protect refugees. So they end up doing anything they can to get by. Sometimes earning as little as 400 ringgit a month to support a family of six. So the next time you read something about refugees or you see them, stop getting angry and don't treat them like they're taking away your country or stealing your lives. Because the thing is, they're not. They have gone through unimaginable horrors and the pain of losing their home and loved ones. I understand we may not be best equipped to take in more people and save them, but the least we can do is to not turn away broken people who need our love, kindness and support. You think what? People want a kinna bomb? You think they want a kinna bomb? Bomb falling everywhere. Bomb falling on their head. The next minute, kinna bomb. Bomb fall on your house. Everybody dead.